millions and millions of dollars are spent. And, and, and I know we have to test our children, but my goodness, does it cost that much? You know, somewhere when I was in school, and I'm a dyslexic child, was a dyslexic child, and a dyslexic because I met a couple of young kids, and I explained to them, it's okay. You know, I've had some moderate level of success in life. Now, now, my parents didn't accept failure, so they said, you're not going to use this as an excuse, and we're going to push hard for you. And I think that's what we all want for our teacher. So as we began to look at it, I said, you know, the power of the executive order is something that governors have been able to use. So on the 16th day of de December 2013, I issued an executive order, and I won't bore you with all the whereas and what for is within it, but let me just read you some portion of it. The state of Mississippi and its local school districts, not the federal government, shall determine the content of the academic standards and curriculum for public schools in Mississippi. That doesn't seem to be a lot to ask for. That doesn't seem to me to be a radical position to have. The state of Mississippi, not the federal government, should be in charge of that. And the state of Mississippi, not the federal government, shall select statewide assessments to measure student achievement under state academic standards. We can do that. We're very smart people in Mississippi, and so I believe we can design a standard and a test Angela Hill, I would just dare say, Angela Hill could do a pretty good job at that, and it wouldn't